Good afternoon, everyone. This afternoon, I wanted to talk about our emotional stress release points. I had someone making comments this morning on Alice's videos, and it occurs to me that this is something that any of us can do at any stage, simply and easily, in order to diffuse stress about something. So when I'm doing my balances, when I'm using things like flower essences, it doesn't get rid of the last 48 years of stress. It diffuses the stress at that moment in the balance to allow me to move forward. When I am using the tuning forks, it's changing the energy attached to a memory or changing the energy attached to a survival pattern so that the body can start to uh, move forward and create new patterns new patterns so the emotional stress release points sometimes you'll see me when i'm particularly standing at the top of the heads i'll put my hand on the forehead or the hand on the basically you can just put your hand on the forehead with your hand at the back of the head if you want but what i really like to do when i'm trying to not diagnose when i'm trying to find out information about a particular stress or uh, is that i like to hold the points really gently and then just say, so I want you to think of a trigger. Think of something that every time you think of, it makes you sad or angry or frustrated or fearful or worried. So that's the sort of thing that if you start to think about it, what it does is activate something in your history that goes, this isn't a good thing. That's not a good person. That's not a good situation. This isn't a good place for me to be. So when we put our hands on the emotional stress release points, so just pop them there for a sec and just have a think about whatever your trigger is. Can you feel pulsing under either your left or your right fingers? Just hold it for a sec. Hmm, I'm not able to think of something stressful specifically, so mine are balancing quite evenly but basically as you start to feel the pulsing in underneath your forehead that's a sign that the logical and the creative sides of the brain have kicked in to help you find a solution so as you go through this little process as you go through this little process think about so just say you've got someone who stimulates trauma in you every time you see them you know, an ex or a parent or a child or a, you know, a boss, someone like that. So think of, let's, let's go with a boss. And so just think of that boss, hands on the ESR points. And what can happen is that the left side might start to pulse and nothing on the right, or the right side might start to pulse and nothing on the left. And what you want to do is wait until it's even on the left and the right sides. This can take a few minutes. And then think about that person who creates the trauma. And remember what I was saying the other day, running the central meridian and saying, serenity now, serenity now. Or whatever you choose to say, I feel at peace. I choose to live my own life. I choose not to be abused. I choose to be free. I choose loving people in my world. I choose happiness. I choose health and well-being. I choose joints that are free and easy. I choose to be happy being me. So emotional stress release points anytime, anywhere. They will help any meditation get you to that next little level. Even if it's lying in bed in the morning, thinking about your day and going, oh my goodness, that's going to be stressful. Think about the stressful things, the stressful thing. For 30 seconds, a minute, holding your emotional stress release points and then feel the charge afterwards. Does it feel the same? Does it feel a little bit less? Cool. Love you all. See you later.